What's going on everybody? This is Living in Arizona Now and today we're going to talk about things to know if you're considering moving to Arizona or if you want to live in Arizona. Let's go ahead and dive in here and take a look at this list. If you're new to this channel, please do subscribe. We have tons of videos on this channel. You can go to our homepage and look at all those driving tours and things from across Arizona. Let's get started. First thing I want to tell you guys is Arizona is a state of over 7.2 million people. Obviously, they're going to update the census, so it's going to go up. It is called the Grand Canyon State. The five big areas to live in Arizona. Ready? Here we go. All right, so these main areas are Phoenix Metro, which includes Scottsdale, Gilbert, Chandler, Peoria, Glendale. All of that is in Phoenix Metro, many more. Tucson Metro, which includes Oro Valley, Sarita, you know, Catalina Foothills, that whole area of Tucson Metro. Prescott Metro, which is going to be Prescott Valley, Chino Valley, up in the Bradshaw Mountains, that whole area around there. And then you have what I also consider to be one of the premier areas is the Verde Valley. Now that's going to be Clarkdale, Cottonwood, even if you include Sedona in that little area there, you have Cornville. It's a really nice area, Jerome. Uh, so I want you guys to take a look at that Oak Creek Canyon kind of area, which is also known as the Verde Valley. And then there's Flagstaff, which if you want to include Williams. So those are like the five main areas. You could lump in Yuma and Nogales, or you can include some of the other areas, Payson. But this is the five main areas. So if you're looking for homes, you want to move to Arizona, those are the five. Phoenix Metro, Prescott Metro, Tucson Metro, Flagstaff, and the Verde Valley. So another thing to know about Arizona is we get snowbirds. Snowbirds come from places like Canada or cold climates, and they arrive here around about the Halloween time frame, uh, end of October, and they leave around about May and uh, you'll notice they're here because we'll see about 10% more traffic on the street. Those are snowbirds. And yes, you have heard the rumors. It does get as hot as 120 degrees. It will get 110 to 115 in the middle of July to August. So it does get really hot here. But for the most part, your garden is going to take a beating. You can see this rose tree is kind of hanging in there. It is 110 degrees today, but this mint plant it's got a little bit of lush vegetation below, but it is hot out here in Arizona. So be prepared to stay indoors a lot and wear some sunscreen if you need to do so. And in regards to the creepy crawly, how bad are they? People just wanna know. Well, you do get some snakes, you do get some scorpions in some communities, but for the most part, it's not as bad as you guys are making it out to be. Don't worry about all that. <laughs> And in case you're wondering what kind of clothes I personally wear, dry fit, brim, full brim hats, sunscreen, I do have a link in the description to some of the products that I actually use. Take a look in the description. Another thing worth taking note of is construction in Arizona, whether they're rebuilding some sort of infrastructure, repairing it, some 20 year old, 30 year old infrastructure, or just building new suburbs, new cities, new buildings, it's all over Arizona. The freeways will be under construction. You can see it's just tons of construction around Arizona. One thing that I think is really underestimated in Arizona is going to be the deserts and the landscape. Although many people know about Havasupai Falls and Antelope Canyon and stuff like that in the north, the desert itself, the Sonoran Desert, is a very beautiful, rich, teeming environment. Places ecosystem with coyotes and various types of wildlife mostly it's not going to cause you any problems people are concerned about it but it's not a problem so the deserts are beautiful they're lush and explore all across the deserts with that being said be ready to hike there are many hikes across phoenix tucson all across the state. So when you come here, be ready to become an outdoors type person and hike, off-road, all that jazz. The state of Arizona has many reservoirs where people take up water sports, jet skiing, they get their own boat, a little jet boat, they get little jet skis, they get paddle boarding, they get canoes, kayaks, whatever you wanna do. 
Summertime, very popular. Lake Pleasant, Saguaro Lake, Canyon Lakes, Salt River, tubing, all that. Arizona's economy is fairly diverse and robust. Healthcare, transportation, and government are the largest sectors in our economy, followed by professional and business services, leisure and hospitality, financial activities. And in case you wanted to know who the largest employers are, I'll give you five right off the top right here. Banner Health, Walmart Stores, Kroger Grocery Stores, McDonald's Corporation, and Wells Fargo. So you can see we do have a unique, diverse economy, but it is growing in the tech industry in particular, we are growing. So keep an eye on the Arizona economy moving forward. And in case you guys wanted to know how many counties there are across Arizona, there is 15. Apache, Cochise, Coconino, Gila, Graham, Greenlee, La Paz, Maricopa, Mojave, Navajo, Pima, Pinal, Santa Cruz, Yavapai, and Yuma. That's all 15 counties. Arizona is a big state. So one of the things that's really popular with the locals out here is staycations at the casinos. So people will go to places like the Talking Stick Resort or Gila River Casino, or they'll go up north. Even though they live in Phoenix or Tucson, they'll still go ahead and get a hotel room at one of the casinos and make it a staycation. They also do staycations around some of the resorts. We have many of them all across Arizona. Uh, in Phoenix, we have several points at Tapatio Cliffs, Camelback at Paradise Valley. There's many resorts. So staycations are something people do in Phoenix, Tucson, and across the state of Arizona. So another thing to know about Arizona is we do have a wine industry, believe it or not. Let me show you these grapes that grow in my backyard right here in Phoenix, Arizona. So you can see here's some grapes right here actually. They're ready to be plucked. There's a lot of them, but yes, go up to Jerome, the Verde Valley. We do have a wine industry here in Arizona. Also, if you guys have not already subscribed to my other channel, Urban J Reviews, I will put a link in the description. That's where I actually review things, products, and stuff here from around Arizona that I don't post on this channel. Check it out, link in the description. Another thing to keep in mind is the food scene in Arizona. It is a good place to be a foodie. The main staple diet is going to be Mexican food, but there's a lot of other foods you can try around Arizona. So foodies, you're gonna really be happy in Arizona. And for those of you who really do not like daylight savings time, have no fear. Daylight savings time is not observed here in Arizona. For the most part, we stay on Mountain Standard Time. And when you come out here, do be sure to explore the history. There is a rich history with the Native Americans, also the mining and the old frontier towns with the cowboys from the Wild West, all across Arizona, from Tucson to Phoenix to Bisbee to Tombstone. You guys know about it, check it out. Good scene to explore the history of Arizona. You know it's been said, you've probably heard it before, but I'll say it again. When you come to Arizona, be ready to drive. The public transportation systems across the state are just not there. It's mostly automobiles and highways. We have some really state-of-the-art highways and we have some not so state-of-the-art highways. So just be aware that when you come to Arizona, be ready to drive a car. You're gonna need a driver's license. Arizona is home to many festivals. You'd be surprised. We have the Tucson Gem Show, the Arizona State Fair, the Ostrich Festival, Country Thunder. We have so many different festivals. So when you get out here, be aware of what's going on that weekend and you'll see there's a lot to do on the weekends all across the state, so enjoy that. And when it comes to natural disasters, we've talked about it on this channel before, but we do get wildfire risk, we get an occasional dust devil or a cyclone, but nothing really too bad when it comes to these tornadoes, but sometimes you'll see a funnel cloud forming in the sky, something like that. Not too bad, but it's mainly the fire danger. Supposedly we get some earthquakes every once in a while, but I haven't felt one here in Arizona. Anyways, <laughs> natural disasters, not really a big thing, but we do have the fire danger. So uh, try to stay aware of that with the dry brush when you're burning fires. We have no burn days and stuff like that. For those of you who are spiritual and into religion, just so you know, Catholicism is actually the largest uh, 
religious makeup, followed by Church of Latter-day Saints, and then comes non-denominational Christians. So for the most part, it is a very Christian state uh, by demographic, in case you guys were wondering. Oh, wow, you guys have to stay hydrated when you come out here. <laughs> I always wake up drinking a glass of water. Some people like to drink that full glass of water and put a lime, lemon in there, lemon or lime, whatever works for you, but staying hydrated, especially in the dry summers, it's good for your uh, body, I think. Many will say so. Even your lips, you'll see that you get a little chapstick, good for you. In summary, welcome to Arizona. Hope you guys enjoy your time here and uh, do get out and explore all that Arizona has to offer, the high country, the low country. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like it and do subscribe to this channel. Go to the homepage after this video, watch some of these other videos that I've made driving around, and we'll see you guys on the next one.